If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. And today, we're going to be going over all the Ricky Premier info and promos, everything regarding that. So Ricky Premier should be coming tomorrow, I believe. Now, we do have tons of things to go over. So we got the 10 players, we got the packs, we got the collections, the way to earn Ricky Premiers, the tokens, the, 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 whole, the whole everything. Now, it is kind of early considering... I always thought premieres would come at the end of the month, considering last year they did come out at the end of the uh, month, going right into the beginning of June. So it is kind of weird that they are going to be dropping this now, which just kind of makes me nervous in regards to what we will be seeing for the rest of Madden, because this is usually like one of the last promos. So it's kind of interesting that they're doing it that way. But guys, I'm excited to go over everything. Sorry I'm late. I had to take my dog to the vet, so I was behind. I didn't think they dropped content. Of course, they dropped rookie premiere promo info. Just my luck, right? That's exactly how Madden likes to be no content ever and then the day i leave it's like that but guys before we get into today's video make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that on about boys come join the family make sure you guys to do a big thumbs up as always and if you need coins for all these premiere stuff head over to my sponsor use code poodle guys easiest way to probably get these done and the transfer to madden 21 so it's kind of just a one win but let's go check out all the screenshots and show you guys everything right, so the first one is going to be cole Komet, tight end for the chicago bears now as you guys know they usually pick 10 rookies doesn't have to be the top 10 players top 10 rookies at all it could be anyone in the first round if they really want to do second round pretty sure it's always first though but Chicago Bears, Generation Rising, this is going to be the card art. So the way Rick Premier works, let's give you guys a quick rundown. Pretty much you get a, you, you do the collection using tokens, you get the 99 overall player. Now, when you get the 99 overall player, you have them for this year, and then next year you get a Rookie Premier edition of them that does upgrade throughout the year. Whenever they get new cards, pretty much the Rookie Premier matches that overall. It's only lasts up to February, but that is by um, the uh, NFL award ceremony, so that does mean if you get any Rookie of the Years or anything like that, they will be qualified. It's Cole Komet. Decent looking tight end, decent speed, good catching, good route running. Not a bad option at all. Moving on to the next one, we got Xavier McKinney. Strong safety for the New York Giants. Now, as you guys see there, Xavier McKinney is super solid. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, he was a was a second rounder, right? So, there we go. We got second rounders now. Xavier McKinney is super solid in real life. So, his card just kind of kind of mimicked that. He's got 95 speed, 97 Excel. Great speed in Excel. 98 play rack, 96 man. 88 zone and 94 power. He has great man guys, which is gonna be he's gonna be great in like a man blitz scheme. Super solid again. Moving on to the next one, Clyde Edwards Alaire. Now I think this actually might be the best rookie premiere or one of the best, just because he's gonna be on the Chiefs. Gonna get a lot of stats, probably a lot of cards. 94 speed, 96 excel, 97 agility, 97 carrying, 95 looseness, 89 truck, 96 break tackle. Five foot seven. Now I really don't think he's that great for this year, in my personal opinion. I don't think he's gonna be the best choice for this Madden. To play with but i think he will be one of the best choices if you're looking towards next year got patrick queen 99 overall middle linebacker for the baltimore ravens this is going to be a great user 95 speed 95 excel 98 tackle 97 play record 91 block shed 95 hit power and 85 zone guys if you can put some rent on this card and you got john madden uh john madden athleticism guys he will get to 98 speed as a user linebacker probably gonna be one of the best user linebackers in madden you know besides shay's of course cd lamb wide receiver for the cowboys Let's see, he's 95 speed, 94 jumping, 98 catching, 98 catch in traffic, 98 spec catch, 94, 95, 94 for the route running. Great car, honestly. Wood Sprinter and all going to get close to being one of the better wide receivers. Not going to be a top 10 by any means, but going to be a pretty great wide receiver. And especially for next year, guys, could be pretty solid. Tristan Wirfs, lineman for the Buccaneers. Now, guys, last year I did a lineman. I did the lineman for the Falcons. Didn't really get many upgrades. I mean, it's kind of hard to really judge a lineman, I guess, in terms of upgrades. But Brady's there now. If they have a really good year, might just be boosting that line now. Stats are okay. Mid to high 90 pass blocking, high 90 run blocking. Great, great, honestly, great tackle. Not going to lie. And he's pretty athletic, I believe, so it's super solid. Derek Brown. Guys, I will be ranking the best ones to do tomorrow when they do release. So I won't be doing that today, but I will get to that. Derek Brown, defensive tackle. Decent athleticism, not great. Great strength, 94 tackle, 96 play rec, 97 block shed, 95 power move, 64 finesse move. Decent card for this year, nothing too great there. Jeff Okuda, 99 overall cornerback for the Detroit Lions. Now, 97 speed, 98 excel is super solid. 96 agility, 98 jumping, 93 play rec, 99 man, 93 zone, and 98 press. Chemmed up and everything. Gonna be one of the better cornerbacks in Madden, super athletic. Do I think he's gonna be a top 10 guy? Probably not again, just because of that lower zone. But everything else is super solid. I really do like this card. Uh, Chase Young, 99 overall right end. This card overall is super solid. Again, 89 speed. I mean, guys, a lot of these cards look similar to their draft cards, so do remember they're not going to be the biggest upgrades over them. Imagine them as like a powered up version of their original draft card. 89 speed, 95 Excel. So he's going to be super athletic. And now the finesse moves high and the block shot's high enough. 
in my opinion, good and will he be the top end? Probably not, but he is up there. Then we got Joe Burrow, which should be the final one here. Now, Joe Burrow is 87 speed, 95 throw power, 99 throw short, 98 throw mid, 99 throw deep, 98 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 95 play action. This card is actually great. Probably one of the best quarterbacks in the game, besides the fact that he's not going to get the right abilities, which is going to be the issue with him. But compared to Golden Tickets, they get the better abilities. But with Joe Burrow is one of the better guys. He gets pretty much maxed out passing. Would go deep and have maxed out just about throw power. So super solid card. And with Sprinter, if he can get that, going to be 89 speed. And John Madden, 90. So super solid card. And moving on to the in-game screenshots. Rookie Premier, er, rookie Premier. Earn all 10 Rookie Premiers. Play challenges. So there are 93 overall versions of each Rookie Premier player. Exchange players from previous programs and sets to earn tokens. Then exchange tokens to earn 99 overall versions of Rookie Premiers. Simple enough. So here we go. So first thing to earn all 10. Play the challenges. You'll get 93 overall versions of each player. Challenges will be no longer available. Now you're going to have to make tokens. Which you will see in a further up screenshots as we move on down here. So Rookie Premier tokens. If you get 30 stars you get one token. So you're going to have to play the solos. And you will get tokens from it. But typically the way you make the tokens is through these sets. So, coming on down, play the solo. Pretty simple. Score three touchdowns this half. It's going to be one of those objective-based solos, which make them pretty easy. Those never really that hard. And then here are going to be the sets, Rick Premier Exchange sets, and Rick Premier Players. So, pretty much when you make a player, I believe you do get tokens. So, Joe Burrow right here. If you make this, first off, to make this player, you're going to have to get 10 tokens per player. So, there's 10 players, which means you need 100 total tokens. Now, the way you get them... Guys, the, it can be, depending on your binder right now, they could be pretty useful. Now, I told you guys that if you guys had a binder, I would save a positional heroes or this. And here we are. This is very useful now. So here we go. To get one premier token right here, you're going to have to exchange two 93 overall premier players, which you can get from the solos. There you go. That's one token. Moving on further. To get a nine, to get, uh, you get six here. So these are one of the better ones. You have to exchange three 96, 99 draft players. Now, that could be in your binder, which I think I have in my binder. Or you can go buy them now. Their price has probably skyrocketed since that this announcement. So don't expect them to be super cheap. But the market isn't crazy expensive. So typically in years past, it has cost between 200 to 300 k to make every single to make a rookie premiere. So this could cost anywhere upwards of a few million coins. But if you have a big binder like I do, you probably could get away with this here, getting a lot of these done. But see, they all have different. So one, like the easier ones would be like one token. The harder ones would be six. It all depends. But you can probably get a pretty decent amount from here. Now the issue is going to come when you want to get like more than like three to five that's when you have to start like sometimes buying packs or doing other stuff because you end up running real low on coins now, that's right here pretty cool if you have five 90 plus overall elites one rookie premiere a lot of people with a big binder definitely have that right about now and then this one's pretty cool too so if you have the mutt master completion exchange which a lot of people should have that's just been sitting in your binder you can turn that in for either 10 rookie premiere tokens so either you get a free rookie premiere or you get a nat 99 overall golden ticket fantasy pack so pretty much all you gotta do is exchange your Pat Tillman, which I hope most people at this point have at this point in the year. So pretty much, guys, free rookie premiere or free golden ticket. It really just depends on which way you're going to go about doing that. I mean, in my opinion, I would probably go with the rookie premiere because I don't really care for the golden ticket as much. You know, they're cheap at this point. I'd probably rather have my rookie premiere for next year, but that's all up to you guys. But that's it for the video, guys. Let's head on up to the Madden screen. We can have it on for the video's almost over. But must be good to see me again. We felt like we were a while being blind there. But here's the token right here. This should be it right here. I do have it. All you have to do is pretty much, I think, just get Pat Tillman pretty much done. And that was pretty much how you got it. You have to do the objectives, what I mean. Remember, you got the objective list. And when you got that done, you got all the Pat Tillman stuff. But I'll show you guys right here. Going over to objectives, where is the Mutt Master? You pretty much got to get most of this stuff done here. Uh, is it under here? No, it was the next one. Mutt Dedication, Mutt Master. So you had to just complete enough of these to pretty much finish off his stuff. And then once you were done, you never, I don't think you have to finish every single one of them. You should have to finish enough to finish up pretty much Pat Tillman. Uh, guys, most of the stuff you should pretty much have at this point. If you've been playing Madden most of the year, got it pretty much done. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you did enjoy. I'm super hyped for Rookie Premiere tomorrow. Should be a good time. Probably going to get a few done tomorrow on camera if we get the right stuff and we can do a bunch of exchanges in the video. Probably going to make two to three videos tomorrow considering we will have a decent amount of stuff to talk about. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notify bell, boys. Hit that. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what trick premieres you are excited for. And guys, come join the channel. Guys, we're getting pretty close to Madden 21 at this point. We're talking about Rick premieres now. You're going to want to be here next year. But that's about it. I will be going over tomorrow my favorite rookie premieres to do. Probably be ranking them because it's kind of a, I have a lot of thoughts on the whole topic. Because I know how players in real life 
are going to do at certain positions like you know what i'm saying like a safety might be hard to get upgrades and a joe burrow quarterback like you know joe burrow's gonna get upgrades next year being the first overall pick probably starting there's always ones that are more likely to get stuff but guys about it hope you guys enjoyed i'm out peace